Now, back to a piece of breaking news where the Court of Appeal in Abuja has affirmed the tribunal decision that declared Nasiru Gauna of All Progressives Congress winner of the Kano State Governorship election. The same tribunal in its judgment on September 20th, 2023, sacked the INEC declared winner of the election, Abba Yusuf of New Nigeria People's Party, by declaring 165,663 of his votes invalid because, according to it, the ballot papers were not signed or stamped by INEC. Now, in today's ruling of the appeal court, the three-member panel held that Abba Yusuf wasn't qualified to run for governor in the first place as he wasn't a registered member of the NNPP when the election was held. Well, Arise Judicial Correspondent Godfrey Ishomoge joins us now from the venue of the appeal court ruling for an update. Good day, Godwin. Warm welcome to Newsday. Uh, what is your, your take on these developments? Is this a shocker or was this an expected outcome? Well, uh, uh, being by, it, it's been a sh it's been an eventful day. Uh, first, first of all, accessing the courtroom, accessing the court premises was an uphill task. The crowd you can see behind me is is just clearing. A lot of party supporters from Kano across the country were here. You could see vehicles packed, and then the army of supporters right behind me. That shows you the kind of following that uh, trailed this particular judgment. So it was a, a kind of a shocker, so to speak, uh, because it affirmed the election of uh, the, the decision of the tribunal that's of September 20, which, affirmed, which declared Nasiru Gawuna of the APC as the governor, a duly elected governor of Kano State, sacking uh, Yusuf uh, Abba Yusuf of uh, NNPP, that's the New Nigeria People's Party, that was the person who was elected in the March 18 governorship election. So the twist to today's judgment is that the court said Yabba Yusuf wasn't even qualified to run for governor in the first place, stating that he was not a member of the NNPP at the time that the party sponsored him to run for the post. This was a, a, a ruling on a cross appeal by the party, uh, the All, All, All Progressives Congress and, and, the, and its governorship candidate, uh, Nasiru Gawuna, who said he winning the election and uh, being declared winner was, uh, was unjustified because he was a, a, a stranger to the to party, which, he, 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 which flag he, he took to run for, for the post. So as it is, Nasiru Gawuna, for now, is the governor of Kano State, of course, you know, the matter will go to the higher court, that's the Supreme Court, for the last lap of this, uh, um, you know, judicial or legal tussle. Right, and Goodbye. as you pointed out, uh, an army, so to speak, came from Kano to support the candidate of the NNPP. What was the reaction? What's the mood currently with, uh, you know, all the supporters surrounding, rallying around Abba Yusuf? It, it, it's, a, it's a somber mood. In fact, uh, you, you just notice the silence. It was, it was very loud. The silence in court uh, on the part of the NNPP supporters. You can see them dressed in red caps. Those are the NNPP. That was their, that was their trademark way of dressing. You, it, they were just silent. It's like people losing in a World Cup final. That's the best way you can describe the mood here on the part of the New Nigeria People's Party and the Yusuf Abba Yusuf um, uh, camp uh, following the decision of the court. And then on the other side, the APC candidate, there was a, a huge uh, cry of um, you know, celebration in the courtroom. The, court, the judges, uh, three member judges panel had to call them to order to remind them that they were in court and not in the party, political party rally. So that is the move. It's, it's a tale of two experience right now. The APC are celebrating while the NMPP, as it is using the popular term, leaking their wounds following the decision of the uh, appellate court today. Well, we'll continue to follow this story and see where they take uh, these pleas, as we are sure, of course, that it will end up in the Supreme Court. Godfrey Oshomega, Arise News Judicial Correspondent from Abuja. Thank you so much for your input.